Have you ever wondered why so many of us struggle with cavities today? What if I told you that our ancestors didn't have to worry about tooth decay? In this video, we're diving deep into the shocking evolution of human teeth from cavemen to cavities. Stay tuned because we're about to reveal the shocking reason behind our dental decline. As we dive into history, you'll see how our ancestors' diets shaped their dental health. Ready to discover how you can reclaim the dental health of our caveman ancestors? Hit that like button and subscribe. Your teeth will thank you. Discoveries of early human teeth. The discovery of early human teeth has played a pivotal role in unraveling our evolutionary history. It all began in 1856, when Neanderthal remains were unearthed in Germany. Among these remains were teeth with distinctive wear patterns, offering our first glimpse into the diet and lifestyle of our ancient relatives. Neanderthals typically had larger teeth compared to modern humans. Their incisors often showed heavy wear, suggesting they were used as tools. The molars were often larger and had a distinct shape that helped in grinding tough plant materials. A significant leap in our understanding came in 1974 with the discovery of Lucy, a 3.2 million year old Australopithecus afarensis found in Ethiopia. These early hominins had teeth that were intermediate in size between modern humans and chimpanzees. The Lucy species is among the first hominids to show thickened enamel and flattened teeth. The molars were larger than those of modern humans, and her well-preserved teeth revealed a diet comprised of tough, fibrous foods, as highlighted by dental anthropologist Dr. Peter Unger. Moving forward to 2000, the discovery of a 1.8 million-year-old jawbone with teeth in Georgia introduced us to the Demonisi boy. This jawbone, representing the earliest known human ancestor outside Africa, was identified as Homo erectus based on its dental features. The teeth of Homo erectus were generally smaller than those of earlier hominins, but larger than modern humans. They showed a trend towards reduction in size, especially in the molars and premolars. The narrative continued in 2015 with the discovery of Homo naledi in South Africa. The teeth of this species showcased a fascinating blend of ancient and modern traits, with Dr. Shara Bailey's analysis playing a key role in situating Homo naledi on the human family tree. This species had small teeth relative to the size of their jaws. The molars, in particular, were very small compared to other early human species. However, they retained some primitive features in their dental anatomy. In 2019, the discovery of a 160-000-year-old Denisovan jawbone in Tibet, including well-preserved teeth, further enriched our understanding. Dr. Jean-Jacques Hublin emphasized how the unique shape of these teeth was instrumental in confirming the Denisovan's identity. The Denisovan molar found in Tibet was notably large and lacked certain traits typical of Neanderthal or modern human teeth. Prehistoric dental health. Recent studies of ancient teeth have unveiled astonishing insights into our ancestors' dental health. Under the guidance of Dr. Alan Cooper, researchers have analyzed hardened plaque from ancient skeletons revealing how significant historical events, like the advent of farming and the Industrial Revolution, drastically altered mouth bacteria. Dr. Peter Ungar, a leading expert in ancient dental studies, discovered that early human ancestors had notably larger, tougher teeth with thicker enamel compared to modern humans. This robust dental design was essential for their diet, which included tough, chewy foods such as raw roots and meat. Interestingly, overcrowding and crooked teeth were less prevalent in prehistoric times. Dr. Noreen von Kramen Talbadel's research into ancient skulls showed that hunter-gatherers possessed wider, longer jaws than early farmers. This extra space allowed for straighter teeth, suggesting that the shift to softer, farmed foods may be linked to the modern prevalence of crooked teeth and the need for braces. Diet was a crucial factor in prehistoric dental health. Dr. Amanda Henry's study of food remnants in ancient teeth revealed a varied, fiber-rich diet that was low in sugar, which contributed to fewer cavities. However, prehistoric dental health was not without its issues. Dr. Clark Spencer Larson noted that while cavities were less common, early humans still suffered from dental wear and gum disease, exacerbated by their tough diet and emerging farming practices. Advancements in science have provided even deeper insights. Dr. Christina Werner's work with DNA analysis of ancient plaque offers a groundbreaking perspective on the evolution of oral bacteria over millennia. This innovative approach continues to uncover new aspects of the long-term development of human dental health. 
Amidst these revelations, one common household item introduced less than a century ago has revolutionized dental health to an extent comparable to these historical shifts. Can you guess what it is? When was your last cavity? Or are you one of the lucky few with a prehistoric quality smile? Let us know in the comments, the agricultural revolution, a turning point. The agricultural revolution, which began around 10,000 years ago, marked a significant turning point in human dental health. With farming came new, softer foods rich in carbohydrates. Crops like wheat and barley became dietary staples, introducing more sugars and starches into the human diet. These softer foods required less jaw strain to eat, leading to changes in human skull structure over time. Dr. Daniel Lieberman from Harvard University has studied how this dietary shift affected human jaw development. His research, published in the journal Nature, shows that the transition to agriculture led to shorter and weaker jaws. This change had a direct impact on tooth alignment, contributing to the overcrowding issues many of us face today. The introduction of these new foods also had immediate effects on dental health. Dr. Clark Spencer Larson's comprehensive studies reveal a significant increase in cavities following the advent of agriculture. The higher consumption of carbohydrates provided more food for cavity-causing bacteria, leading to a surge in tooth decay. Interestingly, not all agricultural societies experienced the same dental problems. Dr. Ann Stone from Arizona State University found that early agricultural communities in South America, who relied heavily on starchy tubers, had fewer cavities than those in other parts of the world. This suggests that the type of crops grown and consumed played a crucial role in dental health outcomes. The agricultural revolution didn't just change what people ate, it also altered how food was prepared. The invention of pottery allowed for new cooking methods, including the creation of soft, porridge-like foods. Dr. Catherine Detweiler's anthropological research suggests that these softer foods may have contributed to improper jaw development in children, as they required less chewing effort. While the agricultural revolution brought many advances, it also introduced new challenges for human dental health. The shift to farming began a trend of increasing dental problems that would continue with later developments in food processing and diet, the Industrial Revolution and Modern Era. The Industrial Revolution, starting in the late 18th century, marked a major shift in human dental health due to changes in food production and consumption. The introduction of refined sugars and flours was particularly impactful. Dr. John Lucas from the University of Oregon highlights that the surge in sugar consumption in England by 500% between 1830 and 1880 led to a significant increase in tooth decay. The rise in dental caries mirrored this increase in sugar intake. The advent of roller milling in the 1870s enabled the mass production of refined white flour. This process removed much of the fiber and nutrients from grains. Dr. Carla Cooper's research at the University of Adelaide shows that this shift to softer processed foods continued the trend of reduced jaw size, which had begun with agriculture. By the early 20th century, the prevalence of cavities had increased dramatically. Dr. Walter Piper found that while less than 10% of teeth in pre-agricultural societies had cavities, up to 60% of teeth in some industrialized populations showed signs of decay. Additionally, modern diets have led to increased tooth crowding and misalignment. Dr. Robert Coraccini's research suggests that the softer diet of industrial societies has resulted in underdeveloped jaws, creating insufficient space for all 32 adult teeth. This explains the high rates of wisdom tooth extractions and orthodontic treatments today. On the positive side, the Industrial Revolution also brought improvements in dental care. The mass production of toothbrushes and the development of fluoride toothpaste in the 20th century have helped reduce cavity rates. If this was your answer to the question we asked earlier, give this video a thumbs up because you are right. Dr. Edwina Kidd's research at King's College London shows that these innovations, along with better dental education, have mitigated some negative effects of modern diets. Current state of dental health. The current state of dental health in developed countries presents a complex picture, reflecting both progress and ongoing challenges compared to our ancestors. Recent data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, NHANES, in the United States, provides a clear view of modern dental health. According to the CDC, about 91% of adults aged 20, 64 had dental caries in their permanent teeth between 2011 and 2016. 
This is a significant rise from the less than 10% cavity rate found in pre-agricultural societies. As noted by Dr. Walter Piper, gum disease remains a major issue. NIH Hainan's data shows that 42% of adults aged 30 and older suffer from some form of periodontal disease. Although this is a notable concern, Dr. Robert Genko from the University of Buffalo observes that it is lower than what was likely seen in ancient populations, where severe tooth wear often resulted in gum abscesses. Sugar consumption, a key contributor to tooth decay, has reached unprecedented levels. The USDA Economic Research Service reports that the average American consumes about 152 pounds of sugar annually. This contrasts sharply with the two, three pounds per year typical in early agricultural societies, according to Dr. Lauren Cordain. Despite these challenges, improvements in dental health are evident. The CDC reports a decrease in the prevalence of untreated dental caries among adults from 27.8% between 1988 and 1994 to 25.9% between 2011 and 2014. Dr. Bruce Dye attributes this progress to better access to dental care and preventive measures, such as water fluoridation and dental sealants. Comparing modern dental health to that of our ancestors reveals a mixed picture. Today, we face higher rates of cavities and misalignment, but benefit from reduced rates of extreme tooth wear and tooth loss. Dr. Simon Hilson from University College London points out that while our ancestors had fewer cavities, they experienced significant tooth wear by middle age due to their abrasive diets. Stay informed about your dental health. Share this video, subscribe for more insights, and let us know in the comments how you manage your dental care.